오. 오. 아, 제가 오. 오. 음. Good afternoon everyone. I I am your host Koisak. And welcome to story time. Today I will be reading you a story about a boy that owns a magical zeppelin. And this story is called Little Mitchell was the happiest boy in the whole wide world. His dream was to someday become a pilot, and he was obsessed with flying vehicles such as helicopters and hot air balloons. What inspired his obsession was his father, Alfred Thompson, a muscular engineer. Alfred was a feared and powerful man. It is said that he was created when two meteorites collided. He was such a strong and powerful man that it was even said that he created his son with his vivid imagination by simply picturing him in his head. Alfred was a respected figure in the world of engineering. His existence impacts science as we know it today. Whenever it's little Mitchell's birthday, Alfred always asks him what he would like. It's usually nothing important or valuable, but this time, little Mitchell had something planned. It was about a month until Mitchell's seventh birthday. When he was playing on the rug in his room, his father suddenly stomped in, staring at Mitchell's soul. Son, he said, what would you like for your birthday? Little Mitchell knew immediately what he wanted. A Zeppelin, he said. I would like a Zeppelin. As of all the amazing things out there, a Zeppelin was bound to ground his desire to take over the world. After many weeks of hard work, the Zeppelin was finished, just in time for Little Mitchell's birthday. Little Mitchell was hiding behind the box next to the shed, ready to make his move. As soon as Alfred stepped away from the Zeppelin, Mitchell jumped into the open door. Infuriated, Alfred grabbed hold of the giant vehicle as it lifted off the ground. Alfred didn't last very long on the Zeppelin. However, little Mitchell was inside exploring his birthday present. It had a sofa and a TV, the rest of the room being plain and white. A small window was at the front of the Zeppelin with a control panel underneath. It was rather interesting actually. Little Mitchell decided to start exploring the buttons. First one which he pressed fired a bomb. Perfect for taking over the world, Little Mitchell thought. He decided to then press another button. Nothing happened. As he sat there in confusion, he flew past the Empire State Building. That's strange, Little Mitchell thought. The Empire State Building is in the USA and I just left England only five minutes ago. It was only when he realised the true power of this Zeppelin. It wasn't just any old Zeppelin. It was a magical Zeppelin. Little Mitchell pressed down another button. This time, it took him backwards in time to ancient Egypt. Mitchell's plan was working perfectly, but there was one problem. How would he go back home? Mitchell pressed the button again. It didn't take him back home. Realising that the Zeppelin's power is running out, Mitchell pressed the button once more. This took him to the end of the world, where the Zeppelin lay forever. <laughs> what a nice story! The moral of this story is... Don't ask for magical Zeppelins for your birthday, or they'll completely ruin your life. Thank you for joining me everyone. See you next time on Storytime.